Good morning, second graders. Um, I'm going to walk you through lesson 5.9. This chapter is going by super fast. And I want to make sure you listen to the end because at the end today, I'm going to give a shout out to three second grade students. And we're going to see who can remember their names. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. All right, let's get right to work and unlock a math problem. Make sure I got my pencil out and let's start by reading it carefully. Jane and her mom made 33 puppets for the craft fair. They sold 14 puppets. How many puppets do they still have? So what do I need to find out? And remember, we've talked about this before. Find the question mark. How many puppets do they still have? Okay, so that's what we want to find out. How many puppets they still have? What information do I need? Well, I need to know how many they started with for sure. So they started with 33, and they sold how many puppets? And I go right up to the problem and see that it says right there in the second sentence, they sold 14 puppets. And today we're using this uh, very similar uh, diagram that we used in the last chapter when we did addition problems. And remember, there's three parts to this problem. This long uh, what do I want to say? It's not really the box part, but this long area right here shows the whole, you know, all the puppets together, which is 33. And then there's two parts to the 33, the part that they sold and the part that they still have that we don't know yet. Okay, so there's always two parts that add up to this. And when you're doing a subtraction problem, you know the total you know the one part and you're trying to figure out the other part quite often okay so let's give this a try 33 minus 14 equals mystery box and my favorite strategy for this is to stack and subtract we've worked on that quite a bit so 33 minus 14 be careful don't make the mistake of putting the 14 minus 33 because you'll go way below zero Let's stick to having the larger number on top. All right, 33 take away 14. First thing I do is look in the ones column and see if I have enough. I have three, but I'm trying to take away four, so I'm definitely going to have to go next door and borrow some coffee. So I have three tens. If I borrow one, I'll have two left. And if I take that those that 10 and break it into ones I already have three ones plus 10 more ones gives me 13 ones so I have now regrouped a 10 so instead of three tens and three ones I have two tens and 13 ones and now I can go ahead and subtract 13 minus 4 is 9 and two tens take away one 10 leaves me with 19 so now I know there are 19 puppets unsold. They started with 33, they sold 14, and they have 19 left. In your subtraction problems today, you're going to see this diagram, and I'll give you some of the numbers, and you're going to be solving for the mystery box. You can stack and subtract on your dry erase board. Uh, you could draw a picture with base 10 blocks, or you could draw a number line and count up to figure out the missing number. All right, good luck on your math today. How do I stop the video? I never remember how to stop the video. Oh, my shout out. Uh, Katie from Mr. Green's room, Vincent from Mrs. Willett's room, and Brooklyn from Mrs. Cobb's room. Katie, Vincent, and Brooklyn. My shout out for today.